So in lesson 50, I am sustained by the love of God is a bit of a play on words because I don't exist. So how can I be sustained by the love of God? The I am, comma, the I am, the son, Christ my, is self-same essence as God. And therefore it's sustained by the essence, which is God. But this is a play on words. It's bringing us into the non-dual understanding. I am, the I am, is that which sustains everything in God's mind, because it's the extension of God's mind. So I am sustained by the love of God. But while we are in body minds, we want to know, we want to trust in something more powerful than us. We want to have faith in God. And yet it is the answer to every problem, because problems don't exist. Yet the, sus the sustenance, which is the essence of God, sustains us. And dissolves all problems because the problems don't exist. And so it says here is the answer to every problem that will confront you today, tomorrow, and throughout time, which doesn't exist. So it gives you the appearance of being sustained while you think you appear as a body-mind. And yet you've never lot left that which is the kingdom and therefore are forever sustained in the very essence of what you are, which is the love of God in this world. You will believe you are sustained by everything but God, and you learn your own devices. Think of the problems you've been through today that you thought you had problems. How often did you stop and give it to God? Which means be still, offer it, be silent, and then don't think about it anymore. And when the solutions try to come, realize by now, by now you should realize every time you think you have a solution, it creates another problem. Abide. But then what should I do? It will come up for you with total clarity because you abide in silent stillness. But you want to think for two hours and then you want to abide for three seconds and then wonder why the solution doesn't come up. Think for, think, think for three seconds and then abide for an hour and see what happens. Your faith is placed in the most trivial and insane symbols, pills, money, protective clothing, influence, pr prestige, being liked, being people pleasing, knowing the right people, power, fame, notoriety, and an endless list of forms of nothingness that you endow yourself as magical powers. Like I've said before, miracle or magic? Miracles are totally natural. Totally natural. Magic requires effort and, and, and belief and techniques. No, we want to be magical. Just be silent. And realize the love you are. All these things are your replacements for the love of God. Magic, tarot, reiki, healing. Just love is perfect and therefore never dies. The bodies that seem to die and age and decay aren't real. And maybe through the decaying as the, the self in those decaying body minds awakens to self. Maybe that's what's awakening. Of course it is. It's that returning to the mind. It's like, imagine a spark of light trapped inside your body-mind illusion, desperately trying to return to the light, and you desperately trying to bring the light back into the light to fill yourself with more light. No, open, release, let go of the body-mind illusion, let the light spark return and return to the awake part of the mind. And what happens when it's lit, this body-mind dissolves? What happens to the memory of you? It dissolves, and what remains? The memory of itself as that which is the love of God, the Son, the Christ. All these things in this world, this entire universe, and all the activities that you've placed upon it, and all the labels that you've given everything in this world, is you trying to be turned away from God, and you want to replace the love of God. And then in this illusion which you've made manifest for yourself, you now want to feel loved in a loveless dream. How could you love anything in this dream unless you recognize the essence of you is love? That essence that you're searching for in people, places, things, and events is the real you when you let go of the illusionary identity of you. All these things are cherished to ensure a body identification. This whole world is maximized pleasure of the body, minimized suffering of the body. These are the songs of praise to the ego. Think of the WEF. What is it all about? It's about power, control, sustaining. What are they doing? 
making the world struggle and suffer. What's happening as a consequence of the world struggling through their dominance and control? The world says no. Return to silent stillness. You can't beat this up. You can't change this. This essence is love. This essence is life. What are you trying to control? You want to, you can kill the body, but I am free. For I am still as God created me. Do not put your faith in the worthless. Don't get attached to who oh, the, the, the chemtrails and the Illuminati and the WF and the egos and the social media. It's all bad for you. The whole world's bad. Don't pay any attention to it. If you use social media, use it to awaken to self. Listen to the great teachers that bring you to awakening. Sometimes you disagree with them Recognize and reinforce the recognition within you. Don't attack any of them. They're all trying their best, religious or spiritual, mad or crazy. They're all trying their best. Return inwards. Do not put your faith in the worthless out there. It will not sustain you. You're only sustained by the very essence that you are. The essence, which is the love, the peace, the joy of God. The essence, which created the real you, the Christ, the Son, the eternal extension of light, the light of God, the love of God. Only the love of God will protect you in all circumstances. And protections, again, apply on words. Because what needs to be protected when all there is, is love? It will lift you out of every trial of belief that there's trials and raise you high above all these perceived dangers. Rise above the battlefield of this illusionary world in your mind. And it will bring you into a state of sense, a sense awareness, a climate of perfect peace and safety. It will transport you to a place you've never left, into a state of mind that nothing can be threatened. Nothing can be disturbed. Let's go to the beginning of the course. Nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal, no, nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. And where nothing can intrude, intrude upon the eternal calm of that mind, which is the Christ mind, which is your real mind, which is what you are, holy son of God. Do not put your faith in this world. They will fail you. Put all your faith in the love of God, that which you are within you, eternal, changeless, and forever unfailing. For that is all there is. How can it fail if that's all there is? This is the answer to whatever confronts you today or any other day in time which doesn't exist. Through the love of God within you, which is what you are, you can resolve all seeming difficulties because then they dissolve. They don't exist without effort and ensure confidence. The path of least resistance is the only way. Tell yourself this often today and every other day while you appear to be in the dream. Tell yourself, I am that which is love. God is the love with which I love. God is the love with which I recognize I am love. God is the love with which I recognize and am sustained as the love of God. It's a declaration of release from the belief in idols. What is idol? The whole universe is an idol. It is your acknowledgement of the truth about yourself, your true capital S, Son of God, Christ, mind, self. Practice this. Practice this. Sink deep into your consciousness, into your mind. There's consciousness. Okay. And what happens when you sink into consciousness? Consciousness is replaced with the light of awareness. What is consciousness? The realm of the dreaming mind. What is awareness? The realm of the awake Christ mind, sharing its essence with God. Repeat about it. Think about it. Relate to thoughts and sink into it. Allow peace to flow over you like a blanket, for you are in that blanket, which is God. Blanket of protection. Blanket of surety. What do you want? Certainty. Certainty and surety of eternal peace and love and joy, which you try and find in a place where there is none. Know that in God, it's there forever. Such is the kingdom of heaven. It is the kingdom. You are the kingdom. What's the kingdom? The eternal extension of God. What is the kingdom? God, love forever. Such is the resting place where your father, your source, has placed you forever, where you've never left. He's placed you there forever. Recognize self. Recognize you've never left the kingdom. Holy son of God. Thank you, and we see you next week.